Hey everybody, today we're going to be trying out Fez. It is the new free game from the Epic Game Store. Uh, let's take a look at it. This is basically a 2D platformer that can go 3D. Uh, kind of like Mario Party, or not Mario Party, Mario Paper. But I think this one is like a lot better. To me, it just plays real smooth and stuff like that. I just tried a little bit of it. Uh, this is, you know, I, I have played it before. Um, but this is considered an indie staple as well. This is a really popular game. So let's give it a shot, guys. Uh, sound design's okay. Not like a huge fan of it, but it's it's alright. It's okay. I'm just a bigger fan of the world building, really. It's really good world building, this one. So we start as Gomez. That is Gomez. Hi, Gomez. I love waking up in your room. It always reminds me of the old Pokemon games. <laughs> yeah. It's classic. Okay, so everything's obviously this pixel art. Looks really nice. They actually changed things up a little bit to where it expands past that, which is really cool. This is the mail system. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember the old days when you used to deposit checks that way, but that's my life. Walk up to the mailbox. Press X. I am using the Xbox 360 controller as well. Uh, I played a little bit in uh, with the keyboard. Not as good, so I suggest controls as well. The uh, sound design, I, I understand what they're going for. It is pixelated in itself, basically. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know. It sounds, it's almost harsh. Uh, we have our jump button. You have a little bit of a floaty jump button, which is kind of nice. You're able to look around a little bit to expand past your bounds to see what's going on. Uh, you can talk to the villagers. Let's talk to these little kids. Hey, Gomez. I didn't say hey, but I'm going to assume you said hey. There's hi, Gomez. All right. Now we got to make our way to the top. You uh, are very grabby. You can, like, latch onto things, you know. Look at that. We can climb like we're Link. Breath of the Wild. I should do a video about my fails in Breath of the Wild. It would be... Pretty epic. Oh, I'm trying to do things that I can't do yet. <laughs> Alright, jump. Very flo uh, very floaty, guys. Not tight. Like, Hyperlight Drifter was so freaking tight. Those controls were unreal. This is not that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the conversation. Yep, 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 yep. Gotcha. Oh, very interesting, old man. Neato. Alright. Oh, what's that? That thing's not pixelated. The future is now. Oh, man. We may fast forward through some of this cutscene. We're not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Epicness. That's robot talk. Reminds me of Octane Hunger Force. One of the robots talk like that. Just classic. I'm just gonna kinda pass the dialogue. I don't translate very well. Being uh, taken up into the spaceship. Remember, guys, September 20th. See so you guys out in the desert. What? That 2D just went 3D. I'm going to turn down my headphones. My headphones are way louder than the recording you guys are listening to, so it's like all up in there. A life in the sky. Never a problem. That's not how aliens do things. What, what, what? Hey, I know the name of this game. We need more fezzes. Why are people not wearing more fezzes? Apu had a fez. No, not Apu. Oh, ooh, ooh, don't mean to be fezzed. Abu, the little monkey is what I meant. All right, check this out. So right trigger, left trigger. Bam, 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 bam. We're using all the Ds. Glitch, glitch, beep boop, beep boop. I'm breaking the game. God, there's an adventure type episode that's like this. That I thought like something's wrong with my direct TV at the time I was using DirectV. This is awesome. Like the post boot. Oh, I love that. Floppy disk, you guys see the floppy disk part? Oh man, this is good times. I love this intro again. This is actually part of the cutscene, guys. I did not restart the game. And see how the Fez now toot toot tweaks. Oh, nice design. So clean. 
That was so slick. We see that we're, we're kind of like groundhogging this. If you guys don't know what groundhog this is, then oh my god. Enjoy the 80s. Here we go. Trigger button. Oh shit. My 2D went 3D. Okay. So up on doorways. Classic. You know how that is. Very fancy uh, pixel dot there. Now our world has multiple dimensions. We see, The key is we see the dimensions and nobody else in the town sees the dimensions. I'm going to fast forward a little bit past what the dot says. Something went wrong. I need your help. I am dot. You must restore something. I don't remember. There's, yeah, villagers. Okay. Got to get to that door. That door needs you to finish a block or a box. Yeah, a block. And uh, you need to collect eight pieces from around the world to open that door to go to the next part of the world. Those are the pieces we're hunting down. Again, we need either of those. So we'll find all of those, open the door up, and then that's what we'll call the video. We gotta get past uh, this chit chat. Let's do it. Okay. One. Boom. We're going quick, boys. We're going quick. One thing I really like is when you go into a room, the door stays open, so you kind of like check that room off, you know? Okay, this is a good example. Oh, nothing in this room. Shucks, I really need boxes. Let's just turn the room and see what happens. What? Okay, so we see there's a whole other room. Now, on this side, it's a little jarring at first to get used to how this works, but basically, as soon as you can be seen all the way through it, you're on the other side of that room. See, we're on the other side of that room now. Okay, and on this side, we open the box up. Give me that key. Yes, all right. You found a key. Oh, snap. It's, oh, another really cool feature. See how you go over a doorway you've already been through and you can see kind of like, oh, no, I don't want to go through that one. I'll go through the next door, you know. That's neat. I like that. Very neat. All right, we're traveling. No, no pass. Okay, it's, again, another little weird thing. So, say, okay, I'm going to sit at the edge here. And I'm at this edge. I turn it. I'm at the front of this one, okay? I turn it again. I'm in the back. That's the only time that something changes. And you see that this is a good sound part. The sound does deafen because you're farther away. Back to the foreground, the sound is. And you are also back to the foreground, although you're not... You shouldn't be because there's this travel distance. So you guys got to get used to that. And there is moments where, like, jumping and doing that is cool. Because you'll land somewhere different, you know? Anyways, so let's keep moving. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, wait. Let me get to this thing before I start spinning. <laughs> there it is. So you actually can save travel time by spinning the world at the right time. Uh, is there anything else in this room? Nope. You are useless to me. Wait, is there something? Can I open this? What is this? No. Okay. I'm just checking that out. Thanks, old man. Ah, just added it. Yeah, anyways, it's just it. Trust me, you guys, you'll be doing that for a while. It's a lot of fun to try around that. Oh, can I use that key right here? I think I can. Yep. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, snap. I keep thinking of that South Park episode where Raccoon and Friends. Oh, I think it's Coon and Friends. Yeah. Because, of course, it is. <laughs> So offensive. All right, let's do this. Okay, so explored, explored, not explored yet. Okay, empty room, empty room. Hmm, seems like there should have been something in that room. You oh, up right there. Hello, block. That sound, that is such a good choice. Does it actually change from side to side, too? No, there is no sound side to side, so, but still very, very cool. Ooh. So sometimes, uh, I'll, I'll do this first, and then you have to be at the beginning or the front of the chest for it to work. So make sure you actually see the lock. Open in this bad boy. Nice. Okay, now, this is a very good example. You see here where I have this block right here? 
That block does not exist. See how the block is all way over on the other side of the map? I'm actually pointing on my screen. You guys can see that. But <laughs> So it's depending on how you turn it makes the distance, the jump distance shorter. You know? So really take advantage of that. No, just visiting. Hey, girl. Jump, jump, enter, door. That dude with the monocle is real fancy. A little too fancy for my taste. Thank you. I need three more to go. Jump. You can climb up uh, grass and I thought pipes, but that pipe is being a real butthead. Let's see, is there a better way to climb this? Yes, there is. Spin, please. Thank you. Easy peasy. Cool. Two more. Let's see. If you die, you just go back to like the normal spot. Actually, let's try that out. Let's just jump toward us. Right there. Nice. All right. That was an easy one right there. That's a freebie. Okay. Nothing else in the room. One more to go. Keep an eye out for those closed doors. Check all the dimensions. Ah, there we go. You wily dimension. Double tapping down, like, lets you go down the ledge. If it's something that's kind of, like, wonky like that. Yeah! Let's go Super Saiyan! Nice! Okay, let's go turn this bad boy in. You did it! Thank you. Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. Don't tell me what to do. Not my dad. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's too far to jump down. Heads up. I'm always glad to give you guys tips. Grassy, grassy, grassy. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Almost. <laughs> that actually spooked me a bit. Ah, uh, why am I messing up? There we go. Yeah. And that's the first world. Or level, I guess. Oh, man. Next one looks good, but that's where we're going to end it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. This is Fez on the Epic Game Store. Completely free. Make sure you check it out. Next week, guys, we have a couple insane games. I'm not going to tell you what they are now. Check out our Twitter account to see what they are. Uh, or Epic Game Store, of course. Uh, they're really, really good. Check us out on Twitter, though. We have, like, a really nice community going on over there with the Odd Pod Squad. Uh, there are also a lot of YouTubers that we have over there. One of my favorites is Kyle X Plays. You guys check him out. He does some really good videos. My favorite, he only has one out so far, is, is What Did I Buy This Month one. Uh, I found it super enjoyable. I, I'm looking forward to the next one a lot. Uh, and then Spooky Burrito is doing a lot of YouTube videos. But, yeah, check them all out. And uh, we'll see you guys later on. Bye.